Good morning, guys. I'm going to make this as quiet as possible. I hope you can hear me. But I'm having breakfast right now. I'm at work currently. And I tried to make some overnight oats. So it's oatmeal, chia seeds, and some blueberries. And I put almond milk in it. So we shall see what it tastes like. I'm using a fork because I couldn't find a spoon. And I was just too lazy to be honest to look for one so we're just gonna use the fork but hopefully this is good like I was originally going to go somewhere to have breakfast but there's no vegan spots that are open early in the morning so I just made this because technically you probably should try to cook your own meals especially if you're going vegan because it probably can get expensive really fast and I guess you could also just eat regular oatmeal or have fruit for breakfast or like cereal with almond milk but I'm I tend to like overnight oats so hopefully it's good I don't think like if I were to ever go vegan I don't think breakfast would ever be my issue I think my issue would be like trying to spice up my lunches and dinner mm. it's not bad it's really good actually and the funny thing is I never drink almond milk outside of in my smoothies like I'll give it to my daughter for like a milk substitute and to go to bed but I personally can't well have never liked the taste of almond milk by itself but this is almond and coconut milk so maybe that helped the taste a bit but yeah not bad at all like I could see myself having this for breakfast often. All right, guys, so I just came back from getting lunch from this vegan spot. And it wasn't too expensive. It was about $16 for a panini and uh, fries. I didn't want to get anything too crazy. I was going to get a burger, but eh, we're not going to start out with a vegan burger. Like, I think a panini is simple enough. It's like a melt, so whatever vegetables are in there, it'll probably taste good anyway. So I'm actually just recording in the car because I'm going inside the office, and I don't know if there's anyone there, so I don't want to be talking uh, to myself <laughs> while I'm at work but I will show you guys how everything looks like on um, inside uh, what else oh yeah so I tried some of the fries when I was driving uh, back to the office and it didn't have any salt on it and I had a really blonde moment like I was just like is salt not vegan <laughs> like why is this thing so bland but I guess they just don't salt it and they'll uh, give you the option to do it yourself and I got some ketchup so that will help with it. The fries are really good. They're fresh fries. I think they make them in-house. And the panini smells really good. Like even while I was driving here, I was pleasantly surprised by the aroma and now I'm really hungry. So I will um, talk to you guys when I get inside. See, my mouth is already watering. Hey guys, so it's currently about 8 o'clock and I'm just now having dinner. It's a bit of a later dinner only because I was very full from the lunch. Um, the sandwiches, I actually ate them in two parts. 
half of it I ate at lunchtime and the other half I snacked on a few hours later and it's been keeping me full thus far um, I was going to buy dinner but I thought okay this is supposed to be something that will be easy for me to do at home as well and not just be spending money out all the time so I think we've had a good mixture of me making stuff myself and being able to go out and buy vegan so I actually decided to make a soup I was gonna hit the grocery store and pick up some ingredients to make something else but I thought no need to fuss like this should be as natural as possible so I actually made a sweet potato and carrot soup just because it's winter it's cold outside I love to eat soups like creamy soups and stuff in the winter time and this was all ingredients I had in my house just carrots ginger sweet potato onions like yeah I think that was basically it basically it so it was pretty straightforward I'll actually link the site where I got the uh, recipe from down below and um, this is what it looks like it's pumpkin soup I mean not pumpkin soup it, it looks like pumpkin soup but it's sweet potato soup sorry guys I'm a bit delirious I'm exhausted I just fed Maya and I've already tasted the soup it tastes really really good it's very creamy and like I said before it reminds me of pumpkin soup like we had this soup in Haiti called soup jumu which is like something we eat on the first of January and it really tastes just like that it is a bit heavy on the salt just because I didn't use any other seasonings so I tried to compensate for it and I overdid the salt just a tiny bit because I had adobo and Maggie here but I know Maggie has meat byproducts adobo the rest the ingredients didn't say it did but I just didn't want to risk it so yeah that was pretty much it um let me give you guys the Whole synopsis of the meal meals today so breakfast was pretty easy it's, it was overnight oats so I'm used to eating that anyways I just substituted regular milk for almond milk the only thing is okay with the overnight oats it was oats it was um, chia seeds it was almond milk and it was blueberries and I added a bit of honey on top of it and later on I went online to Google if honey was vegan and of course it's not because some people consider it still a byproduct of a bee which makes sense so some vegans say it's okay some say it's not you can you can always substitute it for brown sugar or agave or whatever else that was my mistake I didn't realize till it was too late and I wasn't home anyways so breakfast was pretty straightforward and it was delicious uh, lunch was amazing that sandwich I probably will uh, annotate while I'm eating that sandwich, what was inside of it. It was an amazing sandwich. And of course I knew it was gonna be just because I've had that sandwich before except with chicken in it. So when I saw it at the vegan restaurant, I was like, okay, I know it's gonna be really good. I know it had apples and caramelized onion in there and I think cashew cheese or something like that. But I was not missing the meat at all. It did not taste funny. It tasted just like the one I had with chicken before. It was really good, like even the bread which I think is vegan, it is vegan. Even the bread was amazing. So I'll definitely be going back to that spot for lunch. And of course the dinner, the sweet potato and carrot soup, really, really good. Again, not missing the meat. It's very rich and creamy, which made me happy because they actually asked, they actually asked for a vegetable broth, but I didn't have any, so I just used water and it worked out perfectly fine. I don't feel like it was missing anything next time I'll probably try it with the vegetable broth but this is good I'm not gonna say that I feel any different because I wasn't eating unhealthy to begin with but I do say that sometimes when you're eating different from the norm you kind of miss what you're used to so some people they're like oh I don't want to go vegan because I love my meat da, da, da. it was only one day but I will say for this one day I was not missing the meat at all everything tasted amazing there was no oh great I have to finish this like I was excited for every meal. I was full from every meal. It was perfect. I will definitely do this again. Actually, I was thinking maybe, you know, throughout my diet, some days I take a break from meat and meat byproducts and just do a vegan day or substitute certain meals for vegan food. And we'll see how that goes. But I was pleasantly surprised. I was very skeptical. I thought this was going to be hard. And it turned out to be extremely easy even to cook.